My name's Tom, this is The Enthusiasm Project, and today I'm at my old high school for an event where students from the high school where I teach now are being recognized for digital media and filmmaking. So my goal today is to explain how digital media and tech and all of the things that I always talk about aren't just for this channel in my spare time, but they literally permeate every part of my being and every bit of my existence and every minute of my day. So I have a couple very concrete examples of that. The first one is the Digicom Film Festival. And Digicom gave my students a chance to showcase their films and videos that they've made in the program where I teach. And this was the first year that any school from my district had videos in Digicom, and we even had one student who earned a $1,000 scholarship, which was the first student from our district to get a Digicom scholarship. I teach in a four-year career technical education digital media pathway called IMPACT, which is something that I totally designed and developed myself, and it's the Institute of Digital Media Art, no wait, what is it? And it's the Institute of Media Production Arts and Creative Technology. And so the goal with IMPACT is to build students' digital literacy skills, get them real industry experience, and really prepare them for whatever they plan to do after high school, whether that's college, career, combination of both. Just help them to be successful in, you know, the modern world. And there were no programs like this back when I was in school. There was like maybe sort of a video production class here or there. And so my big goal is to not only create something that's helpful, but also create the program that I would have wanted to be a part of when I was a student in high school. Because honestly, media and cameras and video and all of those things have been a part of my life since I was like four years old. Since the first time I picked up a camera and used one, that became the thing that I was like obsessed with. And so this isn't just my job, this isn't just a hobby, it's really the thing that I spend every waking hour of every day doing in some form or other. And luckily my career now is basically to just be in a big playhouse where I get to do this stuff all day long every day. So the reason that digital media and all this stuff is so important to me is because in my own personal life, I've seen how it has positively impacted and affected me. It makes people better communicators, it makes them better problem solvers, it's also just kind of super fun in addition to being something that every organization needs. So developing a relevant pathway where students can come at a public high school totally for free and participate in that was a really big deal to me. Unfortunately, just because you build something doesn't mean everyone's gonna know about it. So a lot of my job is also outreach and marketing and communications. And it just so happens that one of my teacher friends from the local middle school also hosts a radio show five days a week. And so she invited Heather and I to go on that show and talk about what we do with our jobs, with our channels, with basically digital media in our whole lives. So that's where we're gonna go right now. So now we're at the radio station. I made a video about Kristen for the ShareSpark channel a while ago, so we'll link to that right here. I've known her forever, and it's totally by coincidence that uh, she teaches a middle school pathway that feeds directly into my high school pathway, and then five days a week she makes this 40 minute drive to come out and host a radio show. I'm assuming this is the right place because there's this giant tower right here, which I figure is a radio tower. So radio. Let's go. Marketing communications career, um, and I was working at a private school. Uh, and because I was doing marketing, a lot of my stuff was digital, I was always holding cameras and my cell phone and stuff like that. And the students there asked me all their questions about YouTube and Instagram. And so now I'm back in my little home YouTube studio where I basically spend all of my free time doing the stuff that I do in my full time at work. And I feel that that's a very lucky thing for me to be able to do where there's a very blurry line between work and fun because it wasn't always that way for me and I know it's definitely not that way for a lot of people. And I've been very privileged for the last you know, six or seven years to be able to do the job that I do, but it wasn't until last summer that I actually started a YouTube channel which was the biggest missing component to the whole thing because that then allowed me to be creative on my own, outside of work, consistently. And so if you've been following this channel, for any amount of time, this video just so happens to be my 100th upload, which is 
crazy because that's a lot of uploading considering there were zero last summer. And so because of that, I wanted to share with you a little bit more about me and what I do so that you can see why I make the videos that I do each week and why I genuinely am interested in and excited about and enthusiastic about all of the things that I share here. I'll also put links down below to Heather's channel, to Kristen's radio show, to the video I made about Kristen. Basically anything else that's relevant will be down in the description below. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Do that right now. Let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you guys next time.